Hi guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a makeup tutorial on this look that I'm wearing right here. Um, I didn't do a talk through. I'm just going to do a voiceover for this just because I wasn't sure if I was going to like how I did my makeup today. Sometimes that can happen. Like I'm not sure if it'll turn out how I imagined or what, but this turned out exactly how I wanted. It's absolutely perfect. I did this for like a Thanksgiving look, like a really super glam one, but I kept it really neutral with just like a lip liner and a glossy lip. You're welcome to switch out this lip color with a super duper vampy dark color. I was going to do that, but then I figured, you know what? Let's keep it nude. Um, I also wanted to quickly say, where is he at? Here he is. I use the Dose of Colors Maple Ideal Duo. Oh my god, like if you guys can't see it right now, um, this is, I'm gonna get a little closer. This is what it looks like on the lids. It is just the most gorgeous pigment of life. I used this one time before, but I don't know if it was the shadows I used with the pigment this time, but it just brought out the prettiest color. It is absolutely stunning. It's safe to say that I'm obsessed with this. I think it's absolutely gorgina. It's the prettiest pigment ever, and I love how Dose does like a little eye primer for it, so it makes it really easy to use. And something I really do like about this eye primer too is I didn't put the pigment all over because I know pigments are very, very messy, um, and I'm not the cleanest person when it comes to pigment, so to have like this little eye primer and then place the pigment where I want and just blend everything out was really really helpful so I really love these ideal duos from Dose. I'll specifically link this down below for you guys to check out. I'm going to be posting this the day before Thanksgiving so I just wanted to go ahead and tell everybody happy Thanksgiving. I hope you guys have a super thankful and blessed day on Thanksgiving which is going to be tomorrow. I'm really really excited for Thanksgiving. I'm going to try and post for you guys but I don't know I might forget just because I'm going to be spending it with my family but if I don't say thank you to you guys on social media like on Instagram and stuff I just want to say thank you here on YouTube for your constant love and support it seriously never goes unnoticed your guys's love for me is very overwhelming and I love each and every single one of you and I'm very blessed and thankful for that um so before I get like all teary-eyed let's just go ahead and jump into this tutorial because yeah okay please subscribe give this video a thumbs up leave me comments down below and if you want to see like an ultra glam super highlighted um tutorial for thanksgiving then that's cool. hey guys so i'm gonna be taking this makeup geek shadow palette and i'm taking the shade chickadee and i'm just slowly placing this into my crease and slowly buffing it out i kind of started lower on my crease with that shade just because i didn't want to go too far up into the brow bone and then here i'm taking the shade desert sand by makeup geek and i'm taking it on a more precisely defined brush and I'm kind of just doing swirling motions in and out from the inner corner to the outer corner. I really took my time with this step because this was probably the most important step when I did my crease. I wanted to make sure this color provided depth and dimension and then now I am just taking a blending brush. I didn't really like this brush. You'll see me switch it later but this is just blending these two shades together and then this is where I'm kind of blending it out up into my brow bone area and then here I'm taking the shade Fudge from Anastasia. I'm taking this just on a really 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 precisely pointed Lexi blending brush. I didn't want to bring this too far into my lid so I'm just placing this on the outer V and slowly building and buffing. A little bit of dark shadows goes a really long way so if you can I highly suggest just using a tiny bit Otherwise, if you go in with too much, you're going to regret it. And then here, once again, I'm just blending it out with a blending brush. Here's the fun part. I am taking the Ideal Duo in Maple from Dose of Colors. And I'm taking this on a Sigma E25, I want to say. It's just a flat shader brush. This brush worked amazing with the primer and the pigment. I used to just use my fingers with these Ideal Duos, but seriously, this brush pretty much changed the game for it. Um, you'll see me, I'm not really placing a lot of the primer on, I'm just kind of dispersely putting it all over my lid and just playing around with it to see where it goes best. Now before I go in with the actual pigment, I just want to blend the primer into my crease and into the other three colors you guys just saw me apply. Um, and then this is the pigment, it's absolutely gorgeous, I'm in love with it. 
Oh my god, it's just like the perfect Thanksgiving, fall, Christmas pigment. And the primer that I put on before this that comes with this pigment and just grabbed onto it so well. I'm so, so happy this worked out as good as it did because I was kind of nervous. I wasn't really sure if it was going to turn out as vibrant and as pigmented, but it did. And then here, I'm just taking that same Luxie brush with no added product, but I'm just blending everything very, very precisely. I wanted this eye look to just be very blended and very fall and just blended pretty much um, and then I skipped eyeliner and just put on Lily lashes in the style Lux. and then for the face I am priming with hourglass mineral veil primer I love this primer it is so 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 bomb I got it in my generation beauty New York City swag bag. and this stuff is totally optional I just have been doing this because I really really like how it just kind of locks in the primer I use the drawer cosmetics slay all day and just sprayed it on my face and then for foundation I'm taking the hourglass vanish stick foundation my foundation's almost gone you guys this is the best foundation I've ever worn I just seriously can't get enough of it I need to buy another one but it's just it's bomb if you haven't tried it try it it's worth the investment. I know it's pricey, but it's so good, and it's very full coverage. It's just gorgeous, um, and I'm taking this with a BH Cosmetics like um, flat top kabuki. I just like doing that and then blending it out with a damp beauty blender, and then here I'm taking the Chanel Day Tan Day Sonel Chanel. I don't know. Um, I just saw this laying in my collection and that decided, I can't even speak, to use it. I'm just applying this where I would normally contour it. This is more of like a bronze shade, but I really don't mind because I actually love how it turned out on the skin. It wasn't harsh like a contour, but it gave me definition and depth, and it just looked absolutely stunning. Just so you guys know, mine was a little bit dry because I haven't used it in a year or so, so I just put a little bit of oil on the damp beauty blender before I went in, and it blended Perfect. And then for my nose contour, I'm taking the Anastasia Stick Foundation Contour in Fawn. And I'm just blending it out with like a little flat shader brush from e.l.f. I'm going to take like the excess that I have on the brush and just put it underneath my lower lid and my upper lid just to give a little bit of definition. And then for my highlight and concealer, I'm taking Tarte Tape Shape in, I think, light. This concealer is the best concealer out there. Mine's almost gone, and I hate that nobody has it in stock because it's just a life-changing concealer. Every time I try to use a different concealer, I just hate myself because it's not the same as Tape Shape. So to blend out everything, I'm just taking that same damp beauty blender, and I'm just blending all the concealer and everything out. I sped up this part because this part's not super exciting. I don't really know what to say. I'm just blending it out with a beauty blender. And then here I'm going to be baking where you guys just saw me highlight. So underneath my eyes, on my chin, down the center of my nose, and also on my forehead. I usually like to go in under with... I can't even speak, you guys. This is so bad. I like to go in with two layers underneath my eyes just because I tend to cake up a lot under there. And then for the lower lash line, I want to say, yeah. Um, I'm just taking that shade Desert Sands um, and applying it very, very close and very precisely to my waterline. I did put on a coal liner from MAC in Costa Riche, just so you guys are aware. And then I'm taking Fudge and I'm just blending these two shades out. I didn't want to make this like lower lash line super dramatic I just wanted a really blended and pretty look so yeah um for my actual contour powder I am taking the benefit hula and I'm just putting this in places where you guys saw me bronze with that Chanel product I like this tart brush um for more of like a precise it's not really great for like all over because it is pretty stiff and I feel like it moves some product but yeah it's good though um and then for blush I'm taking damselfly from Becca and applying that to my cheeks and for highlight I just took some more beauty oil and I'm taking Gerard Cosmetics Marilyn and Grace yeah Marilyn and Grace I'm just applying this on the tops of my cheekbones you guys this highlight was on another level it was intense I had to blend it out I don't show you guys that I blended it but I blended it and then for the lips I'm taking Gerard Cosmetics Share lip liner and I'm lining and completely filling in 
my look. And then lastly, I am just going to put on Buxom Cosmetics White Russian Gloss. I love this gloss so much. It's my favorite gloss ever. And that is the completed look. I hope you guys have a super great Thanksgiving. Thank you so much for watching. I love you guys so, so much. And until next time, bye guys.